Today we are going to work with W3AF web application attack and audit framework. You can use W3AF to find and exploit vulnerabilities. But before we start using the W3AF console, we need to know some basics about this great framework. W3AF has some different plugin types, but there are three main plugins crawl, audit, and attack. You can use crawl to find URLs, forms, and injection points. You can use audit to send uh, payloads to injection points. For example, SQL injection, you can use uh, SQL injection payloads to find uh, these kind of vulnerabilities and attack plugin. You can use attack plugin to exploit vulnerabilities found by audit plugins. For example, uh, you can get RCE or dump database tables that you found uh, from audit plugin. There are some other plugins like infrastructure. You can use this plugin to identify information about the target system such as installed WAF, web application firewalls, operating system and HTTP diamond. There is another plugin like grep. You can use this plugin to find specific strings like password or user or whatever you are looking for. And uh, the output plugin which is saving the data and debugging information and Mangle. Mangel modify, uh, modifies requests and responses based on regular expression. There are two more uh, plugins, brute force and evasion. You can use brute force plugin to brute force logins and evasion to evade simple intrusion detection rules by modifying the HTTP traffic generated by other plugins. Scan configuration. First, config crawl and audit plugins set the URL target and then start the scanning. Those vulnerabilities that you found during scanning will be stored in knowledge base. And then you can run attack plugin against those identified vulnerabilities. You need to notice that scan time will strongly depend on the number of crawl and audit plugins you enable. And of course, it's better to run W3AF with these configurations. Crawl web underscore spider, audit plugin enable all, and grab plugin enable all. Now it's time to work with W3AF. As you see, we have W3AF console and W3AF GUI. We are going to work with W3AF console now. I already ran it. So here, the first thing that we can use is help to get help from W3AF. There are different parameters, start, plugins, exploit, profiles, cleanup, and some other parameters. If you want to get more information about uh, these parameters, you can use help followed by the parameter itself. And if there is any specific information, it shows you. So let's go to HTTP settings, configure the HTTP settings of the framework. You don't have to change uh, HTTP settings and MISC settings if you are not familiar with them. They have their own uh, defaults. I get help. And as you see, there are four different commands, view, set, save, and back. If you want to see a list of av available options and their values, you can use view. And as you see, there are different options and values and the description. Like URL parameter, timeout, headers, file, max, file size, and uh, port, proxy, address, and some others. So now 
you know that if you want to get a get a list of available options you can use view command but if you want to change their values you need to use set command For example, I want to change the timeout value from 0 to 4. So I, I type set timeout and 4. Now if I get help, I'm sorry, get view, you see that the value is changed to 4. Now, if you want to clean your terminal, you have two options. You are not going to clear your terminal with clear or CLS, but you can hit enter key to clean up your uh, terminal in this way, or you can press Ctrl L to go to the top of the terminal. In fact, it doesn't uh, clear your uh, terminal, it just go to the top. And as you see, you can see the previous uh, commands and pages. So there is two other commands, save the configured settings and back to go to the previous menu. Now we are here, but you can use, uh, you can, you don't have to go to uh, the menu itself to change a, uh, for example, value of a setting. For example, here I want to change the timeout. To 10. So I type HTTP settings set timeout 10. And I just change the value without going to the menu itself. view if i type uh, http settings view i can see that the value is changed to configure plugins we use plugin plugins in fact uh, and i get help here you see that we can configure and enable different plugins, for example, audit plugins, grep plugins, brute force plugins, and so on and so forth. So I go to audit, and these are the audit plugins Blind SQLi, RFI, SQLi, XSS, and some other plugins. If you are going to enable a plugin or multiple plugins, you type audit followed by the name of the plugin, for example, XSS and uh, or SQLi. We are going to enable XSS and SQLi. So here you see that the status is blank for XSS and SQLi. I hit enter again. I list all plugins and you see that SQLi and XSS are enabled. So if you are going to uh, read about a plugin, for example, you want to know about uh, XSS, the description of XSS, you type audit desk and XSS. Let's choose another one. LFI, for example, or memcacheI, audit desk, memcacheI, and it shows you the description. To configure a plugin, you are going to use config, audit, config, and the plugin name, XSS. Now we are in XSS mode, so I get help here. And we have different options, view, set, save, back, and exit. So uh, I type view to see all available options. We have one setting here, persistent XSS, which is true. And if you are going to uh, set its value to false to stop testing for persistent XSS, uh, you can use set, persistent XSS, and now I get 
I uh, type view heat enter and the value is false. In the next test, persistent XSS is not present. In fact, uh, the W3AF don't test for persistent XSS. I need to mention that all plugins uh, can be configured through plugins except attack plugin. If you are going to save your profile with these chains, you, you can go to profile from the main menu. We are now in the main menu. As you see here, we have profiles, list and use scan profiles. So I go here, get help and there are some profiles here brute force audit high risk full audit uh, fast scan tutorial which i uh, already created and some other uh, profiles now i want to save a new profile so i type save as followed by the name of the profile for example uh, let's say a uh, new profile so it's saved but if i get list here again i cannot see the name of the new profile here in fact i need to exit from w3af and come back to see the profile after configuring your plugins uh, you can go to target menu we have target menu, configure the target URL to set the target URL. I go to target, get help. And here we have view, set and save. I type view and we have three different settings, target framework, target and target OS with, the, with their descriptions. I use target to set a target and as you see here we have set to set a parameter value so set target and the URL localhost or any other URL that you are going to test. I type view again and the value is changed to HTTP localhost. Now it's time to start the test. In fact, I need to come back to the main menu. So here I start test. As you see here. And because I used local host, it just took one second to scan the local host. But you are, if you are going to test a real uh, URL, real target, in fact, uh, it takes minutes or maybe hours, depends on your target and what plugins and uh, settings you are going to set. But if you are going to check the live status, during your test you can you can hit enter to uh, to see the live status uh, of the test 